The NYPD is sounding the alarm about the dangers of buying cars online. Yeah, they say there's been a recent increase of stolen cars being sold on the Internet. Eyewitness News reporter Michelle Charlesworth with details from the Bronx. Michelle. Oh, the police and the DMV, they hate to see this, so they're trying to get the word out to educate the public again and again. This is such an old scam. You guys know that. We've done this story so many times. It's as old as newspapers and classifieds and cars because stolen cars are sold this way. We know one case of a $16,000 CRV Honda that was $16,000 cash. That's the big thing. They want to sell these things for cash. That car should have been almost twice that. So big heads up, if you find cars online, you want to watch out. You have got to be careful. Take a listen. About 150 stolen cars have been sold, and that means about 150 victims out thousands of dollars and no car in deals that were, quote, too good to be true. Best advice, demand and look up all documentation, aware that some or all of it may be doctored or completely phony and meet for the transaction at a police precinct for the deal, but never pay in cash. If the seller won't do that, run. Here's some priceless advice from the DMV. Make sure the seller has a title or a license in his or her name. Ask to see the seller's identification. Use a cashier's check made out to the seller rather than cash. Make sure the vehicle identification number, the VIN on the door of the vehicle, matches the one on the title. Coming back to a live shot of a stolen car uh, that was sold or they tried to sell it for cash. Uh, a Range Rover. Wouldn't you like to get a Range Rover for half price? Well, yeah, anyone would. But these cars are stolen, and so you end up with no car and you're out all of your money. We have more tips coming up at 4 and at 6 o'clock. Do you go for the Carfax? Do you watch out for phony titles, phony VINs? How can you protect yourself?